How's it going ladies and gents? We're back. So I want to keep on helping out the youngster getting through his opal, but I don't have a lot of time so let's pick this one here. So he has a lot of shell material like I said. If you don't know what I'm talking about, part one, I'll just link somewhere up over here. He's got a lot of shell material. Now this one is one of the more vibrant pieces. So if I can show him how I tackle this piece, he should be able to apply that to a lot of his other little little shell pieces. Some of them much bigger than this and plenty of them having the classic crystal blue color. So he should be able to get a bit out, but this one has a bit of red flashing across both sides. So as soon as I saw the red, I thought, oh, all right, I'll, I'll put this one aside and I'll show you how to scrub this one up a little bit. And you can just apply the same technique. I mean, it's, it's a pretty vibrant red. It even comes through the through the outer crust every now and then. And you can see how easily it is to identify that it's a shell. It's got all those nice little ripples there. So basically the idea for this one is just gonna be to take off this outer crust. And to do that, I'm gonna go real careful with the gentleness of the sintered diamond that I've got. So that's about 350, 400 grit. And we'll just we'll just scrub it up and see what it looks like underneath. Hopefully there's not a lot of sand. Shell is typically pretty good. I don't get a lot of sand spots in it, but you never know. So this one looks pretty clean on the in, on the surface. So let's let's give it a crack. We might be able to scrub the top, scrub the bottom, and this might be destined for doublet material, but we'll see what it looks like. Either way, there's only one way to find out. So let's get the bits out.
and we're done. So it's not a home run like the first one was, only because it's fairly directional. You can see here from this angle you've got a little bit of colour there, but in some angles it completely disappears entirely. So it might not make for the most beautiful static pendant piece or anything. It's also actually quite small. It's only about, in weight wise, it's only a bit under half a carat. Like, it might even be point, it was a bit over 0.3 of a carat. And in terms of size, I mean, we're looking at... What's that in length? So half an inch, 11 mils kind of thing. So it's very, it's very small. But in terms of brightness, it does, when it is on, it's really on, and it's red. So we always, we all know that we love red whenever it turns up. And it's got quite a nice, I mean, I always say this camera doesn't pick up red very well, so it's looking a little bit more orange there, but you get an idea of how red that really is. If you can see any red, like that deep red there, that deep red is basically what all that orange looks like in person. And that deep red area is just like this blood red kind of colour. So it's really nice, really glossy. And you can see it's got every colour. It goes all the way from that red, all the way through to the blue. So it's got the full spectrum of colour too. And, in, and if you notice, it's a fairly dark crystal. So it's a great example of a dark crystal. On one of those angles where we get rid of a lot of that colour, you can see there, that's not just my finger. That is actually a bit of a bit of a darker crystal so it's got a fairly dark body tone to it and it's not as transparent as a lot of that really clear crystal clear kind of water crystal so yeah it's a nice it's a nice piece I'm not too disappointed with it I was hoping it would face a little bit better it's done a little bit of a mint to be honest but that's okay all the colors we could see from the edge are definitely showing up and it's got a beautiful foily broad flash pattern across the entire face even in this little potchy area here, it still lights up, so yeah, quite cool. Quite a cool little piece. I'll put it with the other one. The other one's still the showstopper. Just sitting over here, so that gives you a bit of an idea. Similar-ish kind of brightness, but this one I'm not moving much and it's already having a play and f fully showing its face, but this one it's a little bit harder, so a bit subdued and a bit directional. Still very crisp, very beautiful, tiny little shell fragment, and he has heaps of this stuff, so with sandpaper you can get a similar result to this, and it doesn't take a lot of time, so I'm hoping that he can get cracking on those, and I don't know, at some point we should be able to see a whole heap of his work and see how the youngster's travelling along. He might even get his younger sister involved, so let's see how it goes. 